Well, folks, coming at you with an emergency video because Ubisoft has made a big boo-boo once again. It's a forever non-ending situation. Like the video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. Of course, they added a BBC Samurai in a Japanese setting, right? And then they turned a BBC Samurai into a gay BBC Samurai. Like, what are we talking about, right? And all my black homies are like, bruh, like, we tired of pe people walking all over us. And I feel you guys. I've been reading all my comments. My black homies are coming out right now. My Japanese homies are also coming out and Ubisoft got together and they're like, okay, first of all, we need to have Yasuke in it, like BBC Samurai, let's change him to a gay BC Samurai, right? And my homies are like, why you gotta be like us, like bl uh, black and gay, right? A and I feel you guys and you're not gonna believe this, okay? So a bunch of Japanese YouTubers apparently ended up getting the goods from uh, Ubisoft, right? And they couldn't even read, they couldn't even understand what was written. Apparently Ubisoft sent them a text, uh, so bunch of goodies that had Japanese written on it but the Japanese youtubers couldn't understand it and you want to know what some of them even said that I feel like that it's Chinese <laughs> yeah so Japanese youtubers ended up getting you know Assassin's Creed Japan stuff and they thought it was Chinese written on it yeah good job Ubisoft good job and with that ladies and gentlemen we're gonna get into it roll it Assassin's Creed so a report claimed that Ubisoft's booth Wait for at it. Japan's expo for the Assassin's Creed shadows received sparse traffic throughout the weekend wow uh an ex-user wow, shared photos wow. from the convention on the 12th and commented saying the other booths were crowded but Assassin's Creed shadows booth as you can see the chairs were used as resting spots I wonder if the French are angry too there's the Japan expo 2024 and there's just yeah. nobody there uh yeah nobody they, they were like okay so on the other side there are too many people let's just uh, chill here for a second right let's 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 catch up over uh, let's catch up on over breath right like real quick let's have a water break so yeah they treated uh ubisoft like that damn home about this uh, and nobody wants this game uh, it's just absolutely been torched this entire team this entire time uh former world of warcraft lead mark kern which is grums uh, reacted to this and shared more information from resources on the ground he stated the bad news and outright awful mistakes of Ubisoft is making are just piling up. There's more uh, than I can post in a day. Assassin's Creed booth was empty at Japan Expo compared to other crowded booths. Even the French don't seem excited for this game. And uh, and he posted uh, the tweet here. He added, just got a report from someone at Japan Expo. Ubisoft staff are asking uh, that anyone using the seats at the Assassin's Creed Shadows booth turn around and face their screen. People are using them <laughs> as benches to watch the Nintendo booth across the way, which was so packed. <laughs> Yo, man, that is crazy, bro. Oh, my God. So people were using their booth and they were like, okay, let's just change let's just change direction let's look at that way right because you got nintendo over there you got nintendo over there right we need to see what nintendo is doing while sitting at ubisoft damn bro that is absolutely wild i mean yeah the, this is what happens right i want to see i want to pet it C'est comme ça, ça passe là. Vous êtes assez des connards, man. Like, uh, I swear to God, man, this like is crazy, bro. Uh, they needed overflow. So this is what the Japanese think about Nintendo and their own culture, which makes sense, you know, uh, versus the French company that's trying to bastardize their, their culture. Ouais. Uh, le with... français, là, le français, ah ouais, hein, j'étais, j'ai pété dedans avec le baguette maintenant, là, bro. Ah ouais, tu veux que j'étais hit avec le baguette là? Uh, fake Japanese products, uh, a little Paper Mario remake, does way better, uh, way better. This is embarrassing for Ubisoft all the way around. And they should be embarrassed with what they did. It's just yeah. been a terrible, terrible thing. He shared one more photo from- Yeah, what they didn't do with this one, right? Like they use ja Japanese people as shield, uh, or most, more, more, mostly they use black people as shield for this one. And you got like only one black guy in the game and he's walking around, right? Like he's just smacking everybody while hip hop music is playing in the background, like the Japanese are Lying down to him it's just yo can you picture this right like he's walk walking tank he's a walking tank only black guy in the game okay they turn him lg tv as well okay that's that hip-hop music plays and he's killing all of them and they were just bowing down to him they were like let's just bow down to our king out there crazy and it's not even a japanese man what the hell is going on bro like they these suckers crazy bro holy hell right holy hell and then i gotta show you a bunch of other stuff too and then they send japanese youtubers the goodies for, <laughs> for assassin's creed and and apparently it was chinese on it like they, what you, you what the, what is going on right now what is going on man what is going on right from the booth and said another shot of the AC Shadows booth. They are showing exclusive gameplay, but it's the same video they already posted to YouTube. Oops. Uh, if you stay till the end, they give you a bag of goodies, uh, and nobody cares yeah. enough to watch the bag of goodies or try to get that. The official Assassin's Creed France account on X uh, just before promised the booth would give potential players an immersive experience when it finally promoted it back on July 11th. And they posted this here, which was some uh, katana uh, and uh, and some stuff that appears to be like European Amazon uh, stuff that you could get for like uh, just a few bucks. And this is it. This is the one piece katana from Zoro. Oh my gosh. Uh, this was embarrassing for them over the weekend. We covered yeah. this. 
39.99 euros uh, and uh, just an absolute humiliation to pretend Man, like I can go to China right now I can get this for two pennies y'all like 40 euros 40 uh, 40 yeah 40 euros like crazy and it was 49 49.99 wow wow <laughs> yeah so they are trying to give you like a 20% discount so you feel good about purchasing this and uh, assuming that you save like 10 bucks right like this is highway robbery bruh highway robbery they're using black people as shields they're using lgbt people as shields and, and they're destroying the I, I wouldn't say they're using asian people as shields because like this they, they're using the homeland of uh, japan right <laughs> there should have been a japanese protagonist bro what the hell is, i mean there's a female japanese protagonist but so strong so independent right yeah man holy crap bro oh my goodness man and i gotta show you this too wait for it like this is a real japanese samurai sword and this is what they're acting is like is uh is actual in-game material right here uh is some sort of a uh, thing that, that you can uh own an immersive part of the game absolutely crazy uh he also shared posts uh from japanese users uh accusing Ubisoft using the items in game without permission. So Ubisoft has raided Japanese There's cultures, appropriated vast swaths of it without permission, and they are very, very upset. Uh, it, it was not approached by any respect. Lantern and other artifacts were taken without permission. This is one of many examples Japanese keep sending me, but Ubisoft calls them racist grifters who can't complain. Don't buy mm. Assassin's Creed Shadows, and as you can see right here. Now, there was a group out there, uh, in addition to this, uh, that had their flag placed within the collector's edition of the game without uh, any kind of uh, uh, permission asked, and they were a reenactment group in Japan. And uh, Ubisoft was forced to apologize to them because of this appropriation, uh, and even with that apology, they were still going to include it in the game. <laughs> Uh, pack there and uh, the group said that was not yeah they, they said psych they put one of the biggest psych card ever I, and I wish I could say psych right now but Ubisoft did a psych right there they, they did a 180 they were like okay sorry guys sorry we apologize we apologize you know what we're gonna we're gonna remove it from the game but bro like por que, por que? We, 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 we actually have already printed my friend mes amis on a printed on a printé la on a imprimé uh, imprimé means printed actually so on a imprimé la on a imprimer le poster et puis on va envoyer ça là, puis parce qu'on a déjà imprimé ah ouais ouais c'est ça qu'on va faire maintenant man this is like crazy bro like i swear to god man in urdu i would like to say yari kutte deo bacho ta nu sharam ni aandi are khote deo kutte pehen cho ye doob ke mar jana chahiye in logo ke chullu bhar pani mein doob ke mar jao pehen cho tusi log not enough an apology for them so absolutely painful stuff right there they accused Ubisoft of using an octagonal lantern from the Todaji Temple without receiving permission. This is the second of these events that we've got at this point. When we asked Todaji Temple's public relations officer, he told us he does not approve of any commercial use and is aware that it's been used without permission by Assassin's Creed. After checking the footage, he confirmed that this is an octagonal lantern from Todaji Temple and is currently discussing the matter internally. Painful. Okay. This is the type of stuff that, like, you know, whereas in America, like, we really don't have any unifying culture anymore. It's been absolutely destroyed by these woke nightmares of corporations mm. and, uh, mm. and the exporting of Los Angeles and their little plastic shopping centers everywhere. And now they're trying to destroy, like, other people's culture because they already destroyed destroyed their own culture and they're like okay well we already destroyed our own culture right we need to destroy somebody else to somebody else's culture to feel the same high once again but guys uh, uh oh check this in japanese this is clearly a big topic over there Ubisoft probably saw the backlash coming years ago while they were still developing the game. They knew that people have been asking for an Assassin's Creed game set in Japan for many years. And now, for the first and probably only AC game to ever be set in Japan, they chose Yasuke as the main character. Hundreds if not thousands of legendary Japanese warriors they could have picked from, and yet they chose Yasuke. And taking one look at him is enough to understand why they chose him. But it gets worse, cause they didn't even adapt the real Yasuke into the game, but they turned him into something he never was. A romanticized version of the historical character, that in this game game gets depicted like the strongest samurai even though he never even was a samurai in Japanese history but a retainer. So of course Japanese people think this to be both culturally insulting and also an outright attempt at historical revision. Uh, for those of you that do not know apparently it, it was actually uh, reported that he was actually not a samurai. Uh, yeah I, I know previously people were like fighting fighting suckers are beefing 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 over on Wikipedia changing the history but now apparently suckers have Japanese uh, people themselves and a lot of Japanese YouTubers have brought up like their own paper from Japan right their own history they open up their history book and they found out that apparently he was not a samurai oh, shit. Oh, so yeah he was not a samurai and I mean it, it'd be what it'd be bro like yeah it'd be what it'd be so that that's the history bro that's the history he was not a samurai he was a retainer that's the history and Ubisoft is trying to change the history right now and this is why a lot of people find this disrespectful and I mean understandable 
Let me read out what the Japanese creator of the petition I just showcased wrote in his description of its purpose. Yet while I'm able to speak multiple languages, Japanese sadly isn't one of them, so I had to translate it with online translators. So if there are some small grammatical errors, that's the reason why. But I'm sure you'll understand what they're saying just as I did. So they write, and I quote, Recently, a serious issue of historical accuracy and lack of cultural respect has been- Yeah, that's uh, like the petition, so we talked about it numerous times on the channel, but guys, uh-oh, uh uh-oh, uh uh-oh, check this out, I gotta show you, and then there's another clip after that. ...that uh, they showed off Yasuke gameplay today in Assassin's Creed Shadows, and that when he fights, there is a Wait hip-hop soundtrack only for him. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it, but I didn't really see it. Greed cannot rule this village. Not while I have breath in my lungs and a blade in my head. I said kill him. Oh, Brought to and, he, and he lifts the entire man up, an entire Japanese man up like that. Holy crap. He probably bowed down to you earlier in the NPC group, bro, and you killed him like that. Damn. Goodbye. You get in a car with them, they turn on the hip hop channel, and then they look at you. This one's for you. Who do you think yeah. you are? Oh my god, bro. Oh, yeah. There's more. There's what else more. would there be? <laughs> There's really something special about it. I want to show you this one. This one right here, I want to show you that. You know, Ubisoft was like, Black person in Japan? Let's play the hip hop Japanese string instrument remix. This one's for you, fellow black people. Meanwhile, they forgot that Yasuke is just African and not African American. So, them even thinking of blasting a hip hop song just because he's black is racist in itself. <laughs> and remember, these are the people that think that they are morally and intellectually superior to you. These are the people who blame you and call you a racist when you don't like their game. Meanwhile, their game being one of the most racist games of this generation, filled with stereotypes, historical inaccuracies, and false depictions of a nation, its people, and its history. I mean, they're even so incredibly dumb and lazy that they sent out special edition box sets of the game to Japanese streamers and yet were too incompetent to make sure that the symbols on the box sets are even real Japanese. Which, guess what, it wasn't. So the Japanese streamers, which are of course able to read Japanese, immediately began sharing on social media how the symbols that were put onto the boxes don't even make any sense. <laughs> Ubisoft sent a special Assassin's Creed statue to streamers in Japan. It did not go well. Why not? What'd they do wrong? Context. People are collectively roasting Ubisoft after they sent these special edition statues to Japanese streamers. Unfortunately, Ubisoft forgot that these people can actually read Japanese, read Japanese and the streamers are. that received it were quick to point out how these stream- Man, these suck is so incompetent though. This is a high school project that just went wrong, ultimately. How are you gonna send Japanese YouTubers Assassin's Creed Japan goods where there is Alleged Japanese written on it, and you're not gonna uh, make sure there is actually Japanese written on it. I, I don't know what's the actual name of the Japanese language. I know for China, it's like uh, chi it's not Chinese. Uh, we we generally say Chinese, but not to be disrespectful. But it's actually Mandal Mandalorian, if I'm not mistaken, right? So they they they, they yeah, bro. Like these these suck is crazy, bro. Imagine, right? Like you're in Jamaica, bumble club, fat pom pom, bumble club, and like. You messed that up, right? You messed that up. How a Jamaican, how about Jamaican homie's gonna feel after that? Exactly what I'm saying. Yo, any Jamaican homie here? Let me know in the chat, man. Gang gang, butty boy, fa pom pom, bumbo cloud, okay? Bumbo cloud. Strange symbols made no sense. But why would anyone be surprised about this when this is the expert in Japanese history that they hired for the game? Uh, historian for a consultant about this game. My first book, Tales of Idealized Boys, Male Male Love in Medieval Japanese Narratives, which is often depicts romantic relationships between Buddhist priests and ad- a, a context that was apparently the expert Ubisoft hired to make this game. You cannot make. <laughs> yeah, that's a perfect pause, right? <laughs> His soul left the body when I. <laughs> You read that? My soul left my body too when I read that part and I understood, man. Like, my two neurons, like, connected, toge connected together. This is how I acted too. Yeah, me too, brother. Me too, me too. Ubisoft is hiring the most incompetent people into such high positions. This woman, who's allegedly an expert on Japanese history, isn't even able to read Japanese and couldn't tell them that those symbols aren't Japanese symbols. And she apparently also knows nothing of samurai history or Japanese culture, considering how many things in the game don't make any sense. Ubisoft didn't pick the best person for the job, but they apparently only picked her because she's an Asian woman that aligns with the studio politically. They seemingly- yeah. Japanese expert? that don't speak Japanese. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh my god and, and apparently she was asian too uh by uh by the looks of it i didn't know that part though uh, she was definitely chinese bro and nothing wrong with that but like i mean damn bro like so you suckers are sending japanese youtubers uh, uh, some uh, and it's supposed to be like about their culture but the text is in chinese like how does that make sense make that make sense make that make sense it did that with all the people that worked on the game and now people in japan and across the world are calling it out for being disrespectful racist and lazy garbage oh my god do people keep complaining instructions unclear uh, my BBC got stuck in toaster. ...over getting free shit. I don't think people are complaining about it being free shit. The reason why people are mad about this is because it's another example of a bunch of white people getting together and thinking that they're doing minorities a favor by turning them into cartoon versions of themselves and not treating them like real people. They have no actual appreciation or intrinsic respect for the culture that they're mm. trying to appropriate and turn into a marketing vehicle. They don't actually care about the minorities. They don't actually give a shit about diversity. Here, Ubisoft developed team it's all white people it's all white people and so i think i think people are tired of having people like that make a fucking video game under the false pretense of virtue mm. they can't even get it right like they can't even correctly appropriate the culture and then yosuke is in combat with the boss and it starts playing this hip-hop theme like oh yeah because black people like hip-hop uh-huh yeah you know who thinks that a group full of completely fucking white developers that has no actual interactions with and, and before they're like okay asman gold next time we're gonna hire like other we're gonna hire blue people too next time so that sure we can actually uh, be a lot more efficient Effective in destroying other people culture so next time say that again okay because uh, we're gonna have a bunch of blue people in the i mean they already got blue hair people i'm assuming uh okay so oh damn okay i'm kind of shocked no blue hair people so far in the group so far so far damn that okay that's progress we got pink hair one uh mohawk guy there yeah okay it's pink hair mohawk guy but no blue hair okay that's progress that's progress with minorities and they're sitting there and they're thinking oh they'll like this it's not even african-american exactly and that's the best thing about it's like whenever I feel like you're right, it's like you're right in like more ways. You're right in like all of these serendipitous reasons. So BBC. <laughs> Okay, so BBC reported that there are British broadcasting channel. Come on, guys! Like, come on, man! Damn, homie. So uh, it's assu it's assumed that he was Port uh, Portuguese, uh, Mozambique brother, Mozambique brother. But there are no records of Yasuke dates or country of birth. Okay, so we don't know. But most historians say he came from Mozambique. But some have suggested other countries such as Ethiopia or Nigeria. Okay. It's like, oh, I never thought about that. That's also true. And this is also true. And that's also true. It's just so weird, man. Asmund Gold is right about a lot of this. White developers trying to panda by making up random kanji characters that don't mean anything and sending them to Japanese streamers is one of the most hilariously stupid fails I've ever seen. And it's true that for some reason, many white people feel like they constantly have to virtue signal to showcase to the world how tolerant and inclusive they are towards the minorities in their countries. And yet, not all are like that, of course. The irony yeah. is that Sucker Punch, the devs who made Ghost of Tsushima, were mainly white. But they cared so mm. much about respecting the history and culture of Japan that not only the game ended up becoming a huge success, but it tourism on Tsushima Island to spike, and the Japanese then made the game's director the island's ambassador. So there are clearly dev teams out there that get it. But Ubisoft yeah. isn't one of them. There, there are good apples and there are bad apples, and that's like, this is a perfect example. Bunch of white people actually made uh, Assassin's Creed, uh, or not Assassin's Creed, Ghost of Tsushima, and you know what? People loved it because they did diversity good. And don't get me, and, and yeah, make no mistake, make no mistake, don't get twisted though. Uh, the uh, Ghost of Tsushima, that is diversity, but people don't have a problem with it because that is good diversity people love diversity people want to see like good games and uh, good movies good narratives and diversity absolutely it's the forced diversity that people have a problem with forced diversity this this is exactly what's going on this is why like the the the, the japanese homies are like this one right now uh, understandably this is why the black homies my black homies that uh, are waking up a lot of people are waking up generally speaking but uh, you know in, in in the very beginning i saw like some some pushback and a lot of people were like hey why are people People are just being racist because there's a black guy and absolutely some people of course are gonna be racist but generally speaking uh, people are people have stopped buying the the, the 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 idea that the sky is green it's not it's not okay and a lot more gamers uh, people in general in general are waking up they're seeing what they're doing right now they're using one black guy turn him make him gay when he was not when yasuke was not gay so they're playing with black and gay every uh, and nowadays it's like every black character in video games movies is gay 
somehow right so they're doing that using black people as shields using lgbt people as shields as well right and just trying to des destroy everybody's culture them. Quite on the contrary, something that's not even going so far that Japanese politicians are announcing to investigate the situation surrounding the game, because they're accusing it of cultural theft. Cause people keep discovering new scandals surrounding this game. I mean Ubisoft even goes as far as to steal items from other properties yeah, and illegally too. use it for that. their game without permission. They stole Zoro's sword from One Piece and several items off of Amazon, and now sell them as if they're their own. Blatant copyright infringements. As if they didn't have enough problems on their hands already. Ubisoft is on its way to get a lawsuit being filed against them. They're making a black Black Samurai with a stolen sword, the main character of the game. The jokes are writing themselves at this point. So let, think about this one, right? Black Samurai, a uh, black uh, uh, protagonist, but who was not a samurai. Hip hop music plays. The character was not gay, so they make him gay, right? A and he's dressed up with like stolen art. <laughs> you, you, and he's killing the Japanese natives. <laughs> Oh, it's in Japan has started investigating Assassin's Creed Shadows for tampering with Japanese history. So, I've actually heard a lot about this. It seems like, it seems like Ubisoft, seems like they fucked up. Let's just say that. So, this is what's kind of funny about this. The katana and Yasuke's mask, or even the artwork from the game. So, this is the artwork here. You guys see this? Yeah, Doesn't yeah. it look exactly like the sword of Zoro, a character from One Piece? And then are those the exact same symbols? So, it's got the K, the upside down Y, and then the box with the shit in it, and then like the one that kind of looks like a piranha plant. And it, it, it's the, the, this one they stole from, yeah. You be, uh, I'm gonna say, I la think la. Because I don't think these people give a fuck about Japanese culture. Why oh, people crying? Don't. The reason why people are crying is because Ubisoft is trying to get social justice points. And I think the amount of examples that people have found out with it being inauthentic. For example, his boss fight, they start playing hip hop music. And then like the experts that they had were like fucking cuckoo crazy. Then they have the sword for this guy and it's from like One Piece. I don't care about the Assassin's Creed games being historically accurate or not. The point is that it's being done for a reason that people view as inauthentic. They're not upset about the inclusion of the character. They're upset that the way that it's presented the feels fake. That, and no. I've said this before. When this game... Th this is why, like, nobody... Uh, this is why people appreciate diversity, right? People are not against diversity. People are against the forced diversity when it's inauthentic, when it's there for the sake of pandering, when it's there just... When, when it's uh, forced... We just hate forced stuff, right? Like, everybody, generally speaking, like, if people... Uh, if somebody, like, force you to do something, you're you're not necessarily gonna do it and even if you do it you're gonna hate it right like that that's essentially what's going on right now and ubisoft i mean <laughs> everybody's on their ass right now i will keep you updated but check out this video on the screen i'm not sure if you actually got to see it or not we had bunch of crazy stuff that went down in this video here this video is gonna be a lesson for the young men out there for the youth this video i made it for the youth okay check this video out and i'll see you right there if you already seen it then check out the video on the left